Hey guys, it is crazy. It's November 6th and it's almost 75 degrees here in western New York. Unheard of. So many times we usually have snow by this time. I'm out in shorts, so it's a beautiful day. You know, I've got a lot of firewood. Um, probably don't need to be doing this, but I'm like, why not? It's actually gorgeous out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split some wood. So come along with me and uh, check it out. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is my electric kinetic wood splitter, and it's amazing. Um, 10 tons, it pretty much goes through anything, and it's just been great. So, this is all uh, a lot of oak and ash right now, what I'm splitting. So. So these are some good size oak rounds that uh, I cut. Um, they've been down for three or four years, but they still have, you know, red oak seems to hold moisture. So more than most trees, so. I'll show you what I do. Help. Dry that. What I do is I just take little bites and I make these little slabs and that'll dry that oak right up. Sometimes within a week, you know. Nice thin slab of wood. So again, this is seasoned wood, so it's got moisture in it. So for whatever reason, oak seems to hold the moisture. So I'd like to pause the video here for a second, and this is the wood that you just saw me split, and it's been about five days, so check this out. Nice and hollow, that's really nice dry oak. So splitting it, this thin slab, well worth it. It gets me to be able to burn it way sooner than you know having to wait for some of those larger, those larger logs to dry. So uh, you might try it if you wanna speed up your process on some of the logs that maybe are a little bit wet, especially oak. Split these little slabs. I think you'll be happy. So these will burn nice and hot in our stove. Um, we'll just stack them up, you know, multiples. It's just as good as burning a, a full-size log, and it'll be great. So anyway, let's get back to the video. Another thing that I was taught by my father is that when you're stacking, you want to take the bark and beat it up, especially if you're storing your wood outside. And that just causes the rain to drizzle over everything, but really doesn't get into the meat of the wood. That's the way I've always done it. Anyway.
behind the camera because my daughter just got a horse. Beautiful one. So she's over there working with my daughter. This is Rocky. This is uh, my daughter's horse that she just purchased herself, and he is a handsome boy. What kind of horse is he? Quarter horse. Quarter horse. Yeah, Palomino. Hi, Rocky. Seven. Seven years old. He's a good boy. And then we've got our neighbor's horse down here who's hanging out with him. Soph worked really hard and uh, did a great job of cleaning out the barn because this was a mess in here before. So now it's a nice nice place to keep the horses. Of course, we're getting ready for winter here. We put down some rubber mats um, with some shavings and uh, hopefully it works well. The hay's over there. We definitely have to get some more hay, but this will work nice for her and rocky chickens are out today it's such nice weather so let's see if there's uh, any eggs oh yeah look at these little blue eggs here these are really cool these are from the americanas they look like a hawk really cool bird I'll tell you, these homegrown eggs are delicious. Highly recommend if you've never had farm fresh eggs. There is a difference. See if we get through it. Okay, that's it. Nice short little video just to share what a beautiful day we're having in November. Maybe we'll get a few more logs split. That's it. See you in the next one.